Surprise, surprise, phytoestrogens might just be really good for you. Phytoestrogens are compounds found in a variety of plant foods like soy and flax seeds and can have some similar structural characteristics to the estrogens that we produce in our bodies, but that doesn't mean they're the same. And as I've previously discussed, consuming phytoestrogens from soy doesn't appear to have any clinically significant effects on our own estrogen or testosterone levels. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Instead, let's talk about this new study on phytoestrogen consumption and mortality risk amongst over 100,000 men and women in America who were followed since the mid-80s. Those consuming the most phytoestrogens had an 11% lower risk of dying during the study, a 10% lower risk of dying due to cardiovascular disease specifically, and a 14% lower risk of dying due to non-cardiovascular and non-cancer causes compared to those consuming the least. And before anyone claims that the results are due to the higher phytoestrogen consumers being more health conscious, they tended to drink more and were more likely to smoke than those consuming the least. Although both of those variables and more were adjusted for. Isoflavones found in soy and other legumes, lignans found in grains and seeds, and coumarins found in herbs and spices were each individually associated with lower risk as well. And tofu, soy milk, tea, and whole grains are specific food sources of phytoestrogens that appear to be protective. But the result that stuck out to me the most was regarding flax seeds. Until now, we didn't really have good data on long-term health outcomes. But here, flax seeds and flaxseed oil were associated with an 11% and 9% lower risk of mortality, respectively. 